Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome uh, to this series of solving uh, BAO exams electrical A6 which is about power systems and machine. This is a question about magnetic circuit and this was uh, done in May 2019. I noticed that some other exams also have the same the same question. Uh, this question is basically summarizes the fundamentals of uh, magnetic uh, circuit. It's a straightforward but it has all formulas, all concepts in uh, magnetic circuit uh, in one question. Uh, before we start, uh, I'd like to mention one thing that the magnetic field uh, or the magnetic circuit questions, there are two categories in the exam. One of them, when you basically assume that the permeability is a constant value, or when you give you the BH curve. So hopefully we'll be solving questions in, in both categories. This one covers when the relative permeability is basically a constant and here is 15, 1500. And I will come to the details of, of this. So the question says here, you have uh, this uh, toroid and you are giving the mean radius of this toroid to be 25 centimeter. So the distance from the center to the mean which is this dotted circle is equal to 25 centimeter. The cross section area is three centimeters square. And the toroid is wound with uh, 600 uh, turns. This is the number of turns. And the current that goes through these turns is basically 1.5 amp. Assume the uh, relative permeability is equal to 1500, then you need to do certain calculations. Uh, before we start, let me just cover some of the basics. The first thing here, basically, is that the, the magnetic circuit is, shows the interaction between the electrical circuit and the magnetic circuit. So when we have number of turns and when we have a current, we have something called the MMF, magnetomotive force, and this is equal to N times I. So that is basically that is responsible to produce the flux. This is same like in the electrical circuit, we have the EMF, which is basically the voltage. The voltage is the one that is responsible to basically flow of the electrons or the current in the, in the circuit. So the MMF and the EMF are very close to each other. The flux that goes into the magnetic circuit so now we have a number of turns in and one and and whenever there is a current there there will be a flux going by the this finger direction so this is the direction of the flux the flux in the magnetic circuit resembles the current in the electric circuit and finally we have the resistance in the electric circuit to resist the flow of the current we have the reluctance. So this magnetic circuit, basically, I will convert it into a model that resembles the electrical circuit. So this will equal to, this is your MMF, so it's like a supply of the flux, and this material will have its own reluctance. This is your MMF. And this is your flux. And the relationship between three these three components is the Ohm's law, like the voltage, current, and the resistance, where MMF is equal to the flux times the reluctance. So that is sort of introduction, but as we progress, we will be going through different concepts about magnetic circuit. Let's see what the question is asking us to find. Find the reluctance. Now, the reluctance is equal to L. L is the average path of the magnetic circuit, the flux that will go through, divided by mu, which is the permeability, which is equal to mu zero, which is a constant, times the mu r, which is the uh, permeability, the relative permeability, times the cross-sectional area of that magnetic material. Now, we have everything. Uh, L, we are giving the radius, so this is a circle, so this will be 2 pi times R average divided by mu0 is a constant, 4 pi times 10 to minus 7 times the mu R, which is the 1500 
times A. A is the cross-sectional area, which is basically 3 centimeters square. We have to convert everything into meters square. So this is times 10 to minus 4. Substitute there, so it's 2 pi times 25 times 10 to minus 2 divided by 4 pi times 10 to minus 7 times 1500 times 3 times 10 to minus minus 4. Now, what is this relative permeability? This is the a property of magnetic materials. The higher the value, the easier the flux can go through the material. And you can see here, as the relative permeability go up in the values, the reluctance will be reduced. The reluctance is like the resistance in the electrical circuit. So when you calculate this, this is equal to 2,777,777.8, and the unit is ampere turn per Weber. So that is the first thing that is asked to find, which is the, the reluctance. This is part, part A. So let's go to part B. It says find the magne magnetomotive force or the MMF and the magnetic field intensity. So what is MMF? I mentioned that the MMF is basically equal to N times I. N is the number of turns, which is 600. The current is 1.5. So this gives you 900 ampere turn. What is the magnetic field intensity, which is H? H times L. L is the path of the, the length of the path of the magnetic flux is equal to the MMF or equal to Ni. So your H, magnetic field intensity, is equal to Ni, which is 900, divided by your L. And L is basically 50 pi times 10 to minus 2. And this will give me 573 ampere turn per, per meter. This is your H. So we found the MMF and we found H. The last thing is to find the flux and the flux density. We said that MMF is equal to the flux times the reluctance. We have both. So basically your flux is equal to your MMF, which is the 900, divided by the flux, which is 2,777,777.8, which will give me 0.324 milliweber, very small flux. Finally, find the flux density, B is equal to the flux divided by the area, the cross-section area, which is the 0.324, convert this back to weber, minus three, divided by the cross-section area, which is three centimeters square, times 10 to minus four, and this will give me 1.08 decibel. There is another way to find B, because B over H is equal to mu, which is mu zero times mu R. This is in the linear region. Now, we have something, we'll talk about it later on in details, the BH curve. This is your B, and this is your H. And the BH curve starts as linear and becomes nonlinear. In that region, the mu is constant. The B over H, which is the slope of the line, is basically your mu. It's a constant value. Okay. Then here becomes nonlinear. So if I increase the flux density so that it becomes in that nonlinear region, the mu is not constant anymore, and you have to use the curve to find to find that. Now here B becomes equal to mu zero, mu r times H, and we have everything. Mu zero for pi times 10 to minus 7, mu r is the 1500, your h is equal to 573, and if you do that, this is equal to 1.08 tesla, which is exactly the same as this value. So this is a very interesting, very nice magnetic uh, circuit question that covers almost everything in the, in the magnetic circuit as, as a concept. It's a very simple and very straightforward question.